Well, switching our attention to another exciting pastime, a lot of baseball happening this weekend. The local Grand Junction Rockies are back in town to wrap up a home-and-home -home series with the Rocky Mountain Vibes this evening. Let's get out to the action. Great return to Saplesio for the Rockies in the top of the first with three outs, that last one being a strikeout on the beer batter. Doing pretty good so far. Corky pretty excited about that one. With one on, Luke Roscom gets a hold of one. This goes over to second. The Vibes find their second out. They go for the double play, but not in time. Either way, that out was crucial. Shortly after, with two on, Rocky Mountain gets the easy out at first before Junction can make it home. Still no score in the second, this one looking like a battle, especially between the pitchers. The pressure of two outs and two strikes getting to Edgar Salazar. Can Brett Matthews finish off another scoreless inning? He can. Rockies get their next chance at the plate. Having a little more luck in this one, Kelvin Maldonado at bat pops one to the right. First baseman diving, trying to get the ball to first. He would get it in time, continuing the scoreless streak. Like I said earlier, folks, this game is a battle. In the third, Aldo Nunez breaks the silence, this ball going straight over to Dondre Hubbard at center for the out. But that doesn't stop Luis Matos from coming in for the first run in game four. But they don't stay up for long, Roscom coming in clutch for the Rocks. He gets the single, helps Rolando Martinez get past second and find his place at third. And shortly after, one bad pitch and he gets home, tying up the game at one. Now this game is still going on and let's just say the Rockies have been on their A game tonight. Right now it actually just ended as we were speaking. The final score is 13 to 3 Rockies.